In this demonstration, we will walk through the steps to submit an EFT or electronic funds transfer request. From the provider management dashboard, you'll access the provider or organization's enrollment record by using the associated NPI or national provider identifier associated with the request. Enter the NPI in the search field and press enter. Then click the ellipsis and select view to open the enrollment record that is associated with your NPI. To make changes, click edit enrollment record to review and edit the different maintenance and request types that are associated with your NPI. It is important to note that EFT changes are not allowed for 30 days after completing a maintenance provider information change email request. After 30 days, you'll be able to create an EFT request. For the next step, locate the maintenance EFT option and click create request. When the request is created, the accounting billing information page will automatically open. Click the ellipsis for the specific accounting billing record you want to update, then select open to view the EFT page and make changes. If you're making an update to opt out of the EFT program, check, I do not wish to participate in the EFT program. Remember to click save to update this request. Otherwise, leave the checkbox unchecked and complete all the required fields on the page before submitting your request. Review and update the contact information section as needed. You must fill out a contact name, email address, and phone number. Complete the other fields if applicable. This contact information will be used for any EFT inquiries in the future. As you navigate down the form, update the agent information section. The information might be different from the contact information section above. Make sure to fill out all required fields in this section. Continue navigating down the page to complete all the required fields and information pertaining to your situation. In the Retail Pharmacy Information section, you are required to enter a pharmacy name. If this field does not pertain to you, enter NA. The Financial Institution Information section displays all your banking information. You can add or update your financial institution name, add or modify the account number on file for EFT, confirm the routing number, and select the account type. It will be either checking or savings. Select whether the account number will be linked to your provider tax identification number or NPI. After this, you will complete the remaining required fields that are associated with your bank. In the Submission Information section, select the reason for submission. In this demonstration, it's a change of enrollment. Then select what will be included with the enrollment submission, either a voided check or a bank letter. After you have completed all the required fields, click Save. Now you can add an image of the voided check or bank letter as an attachment. Under Attachments, click the icon to select files. 
Then select the document name from the drop down menu and click Add Attachments. Finally, navigate to your document to upload it. After the file has been uploaded, you will see it in the attachment section. Verify and, if needed, modify the attachments that have been uploaded. Click Save. Next, go to the Agreements page to view the EFT agreements information that is generated after EFT information is changed. Before submitting the change request, you must submit a PIN. Select the primary or secondary email address and click Send PIN. An email is then sent to that address. Note that the PIN is only valid for 30 minutes. After that, it will expire and you'll have to request a new PIN. When the PIN is sent, the Send PIN button changes to Validate PIN. After you've received the six digit pin, click the button and enter the number. Then click validate pin. Click resend pin to receive a new six digit pin. Note, if you incorrectly enter the pin three times or have requested the pin to be resent three times, you will receive an email notifying you that you'll have to wait four hours to validate the PIN. After the PIN is validated, you'll be directed to the agreements page. Use the three ellipsis to select the name of the authorized signatory. Be sure to enter an email address. Then click Activate Agreement in the pop-up window. The EFT agreement is sent to the authorized signatory to sign and complete. Once the agreement is signed and submitted, the Submit button will become available. Now you can click Submit to submit the EFT request. Note that the request number is the number that you'll use for any inquiries about your EFT request status. Click Request to view the status at any time and to search for the request number. You will be able to see whether the request is under review or already approved. After the changes are made, the primary and secondary account holders will be notified by email.